What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again back with a banger today, guys, on my favorite home defense weapon, the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus. <laughs> So if you actually listen to what I said, I said mine, right? I'm not saying yours or not saying the best home defense weapon out there, but it's definitely one of the best home defense weapons out there in my humble opinion. I'm gonna tell you why. But we have here today my personal CZ Scorpion that I unboxed a couple months back. I bought it mainly because, you know, I wanted a CZ Scorpion. I wanted a Scorpion, I had an AP5. I wanted some sort of pistol caliber carbine in a home defense format. You know, pistols are great, shotguns are great, but why not get the best of both worlds in a way and get a, you know, a miniaturized AR and nine millimeter. You feel me? That is made for defending, not over penetration and all the above. Now, I still do have a shotgun and I still believe that a shotgun is one of the best and some say will say the best home defense weapon out there. You got buck, you got slug, but there are some things that I worry about when it comes to over penetration, like slug shots or even like buck when it spreads. So one thing about the nine millimeter hollow points and you know, the round itself, is there is less likelihood of penetration going on compared to a 300 blackout AR, possibly a shotgun. Cause I've heard some things about nine millimeters being more over penetrative than we actually think. I'm not here to do all the science. You guys can feel free to do that in the comment section. But I went with the Scorpion. I like it, I love it. And I've been shooting it for quite some time. I've put probably about a thousand rounds into this bad boy so far. And I wanted to break down my setup from tip to butt and some new features that have added in on this Scorpion salutes to Nexus Firearms for the opportunity to let me beta test their enhanced bolt system. So without further ado, man, let's get straight into it. of course always cleared in in safe format you feel me check it out you know and you got the little yeah great 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 so the cz scorpion i went with this one in particular than previous models because this is the more newer model and since i was jumping into the new model there were some things that i didn't have to worry about one being the fact that these are not backwards mag compatibility so basically you can't use previous scorpion mags with this system because the lower itself is different than previous lowers one being you see that little dimple right there this thing is a new little session a little new iteration to it that they allow because now you have the mag release on this side as well as on this side as well you have mag releases very similar to an ar 15 type of platform and on from tip to butt, we have a stream light going on. This is the X, uh, the HLX. I think this might be the, the HLX X, like the big edition. Might go with something miniature down the road. You know, something real nice though, to give you some light and all that. Might go with some cloud defense or uh, surefire down the road to uh, bump things up. These do come with higher iron sights. And I think this has to do with some maybe to do with like the fact that it's suppressor ready or something. This is a faux suppressor though on the inside and actually I think the barrel actually sticks out right here. So the suppress is a shroud that goes over with the barrel being like right here. So nothing too bad. Now I originally ran the Romeo 5 on this. I've been running the Romeo 5 for the longest and I finally was like, you know what? Let's give this little thing an upgrade. Now I ended up going with the AMG Huey. I had this on another gun. I swapped it out. I put this on here. I was even trying to throw in the little magnifier, but it was just a little bit too much. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do too much. I couldn't squeeze it on there. Plus it's not gonna be needed for what it's made for, which is close corners, home defense type of you know ordeals. And then also on the back here, as you can see, we swapped out the brace that came along with it. And I put on the brace that originally was on my PSA Jackal, if you remember. PSA Jackal was SBR, so a stock was put on. So the brace that was on there was put on this Scorpion right here. And uh, for the most part, you know, I like it. I love it. You know, it is what it is. It looks nice. It looks like a little miniature Bryn. You know, that's what the Scorpion is basically, right? Like a CZ Bryn is the 5.56. You get the Scorpion version, a little miniaturized version. Now these come with two 25 round magazines. And now, why do I think that this 
is the better home defense or why do I choose the Scorpion over a MPX or a AP5 or a AKV or a KP9? It's really preference. I'm not gonna sit here and talk to dog one or the other. SIG with the MCX is I own a Rattler. I own the Spear. So I know the MPX is just as good and some people will even say it's way better than the Scorpion. So I'll let you guys be up the debate on that. But it is what it is. The AP5 is still in my opinion, probably one of the most smoothest guns that I have and that I can shoot have no issue shooting that thing and keeping it flat. But there was something that different about the Scorpion that made me make that decision. Then you got, of course, the AKV, which I recently got, which is the AK-47 in nine millimeter format. There's also the KP-9, which is the same thing as well. There's a lot of different AK, AK formats in nine millimeter that serve well as home defense. And even that one in particular does have the last bolt open. But that's one thing that the AK, you know, the AP-5 doesn't have is that last bolt open to the point to where when you are, you know, on your last round and you, Switching the mag, you know, you have to do all that racking back. With this, you could just straight up put it in there. Well, you probably can't because there's no round in here, but you could, you could pretty much, you could pretty much just slap. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work now. Hold on. You can, hold on. Maybe it works now. Will it not work for me? It's not gonna, there it goes. There it goes. These little toggles on the bottom, right? There's one on this side and one on this side. You can actually just press the toggle with your finger, and it automatically puts it in. So last bolt. Ba 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 ba. Shots are fired. You're done. You switch out the mag. Uh. It's not gonna work here because it's a cock back, but anyway, you put it in. Let me do it now. Ba -ba 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 shots fired. Okay, you put it in there. Uh, for some reason, it's you gotta press a little bit harder. When there's no, when there's live ammunition in there, it's just, you know, it's a simple just finger push right there. But you got the whole entire, you know, just ambi safeties on both sides, ambi here, there. I swapped out the trigger for HBI Industries trigger, which is a, I think like a three pound trigger. Very nice reset and squeeze. Everything's really nice about this gun overall. And I didn't have to put too much into it. Now, one of the big things as you can see though right here is the Nexus Enhance Bolt. So loose the Nexus. They sent this out to your boy and these are available for pre-order now. Check out the link down below in my description to my website. Find out the whole setup and everything that is possessed here. But Nexus actually made an enhanced bolt for the Scorpion because if you guys don't know, one of the things that the Scorpion is plagued by alongside with the AKV, uh, AKV and I think even the KP, uh, KP9, I don't know about the MPX, but is out of battery discharge. When you put a Franklin binary trigger in here, you're shooting really rapid fire. There's been incidences of the past where these guns blow up out the side and out of battery discharge. Now, it rarely does happen, but Nexus has built an enhanced bolt system to prevent that from happening and have been using it and running and testing it for quite some time. And I actually got one of them through their little beta program. So I've been shooting it and been having no errors whatsoever. It's definitely a whole different type of, you know, it's just more enhanced. It's better quality material and metals used and setting it up was 10 minutes to set up. I wanna give a huge shout out to them though. I did, like I said, a lot of drills, a lot of rapid fire, was not having no issues whatsoever. And um, yeah, I love it. When it comes to shooting this through an AP5 and all the above though, one of the main things I would say about the Scorpion is it does have a little bit of recoil on it. Nothing like out of the ordinary, nothing that you can't handle, but it does shoot more heavier than I would say, you know, an AP5, MP5. And maybe some similarness to the AKV, but nothing that I am not used to. The bulk of the actual weight of the gun is the bolt itself because a lot of the components around here is pretty much plastic or polymer. Majority of the metal is that bolt itself, which is very chunky. It's a big boy back there. And of course, this Huey doesn't take away. This is a holographic. Uh, this is a Gen 2, has night vision on it. Very, very lovely. But I would say the Romeo 5 still in my heart is probably the pound for pound best optic out there. And, I'll be doing a video about that shortly. I also have on the other side, a Magpul sling. I think this is just the standard RS sling with the rubber band on here. That's just to keep everything, you know, together. But if I ever needed to actually need it, you know, you could just, you could just pretty much pull it out. Well, maybe not as smooth as I would like it to be, but you know, I got the sling set up on all that and you know, it's ready to go. It's ready, it's, it's, it's ready. I, you know, well, actually I probably wouldn't wear it that way. I mean, you could do it this way too, but I, I really probably would prefer it like this. That was my mic. So here you go, you know, a little nice setup, real easy sling, very lightweight, you know, uh, ready to go when you need it to go, you feel me? You just, it's all around lovely, lovely firearm at work. And this is the three plus, this is very new. This is the three plus pistol version. 
And the actual three plus that released was the micro was actually a little bit shorter than this. Maybe about, maybe about like to right here. This is the pistol configuration and they call this or say this is a little bit more limited uh, release, but we'll just have to wait and see. But this is, you know, something new from Scorpion. This is why I like this one more as a home defense over an AP5, AKV and all the above. I think that one thing in particular is the bolt release, which previous Evos have the same, they have bolt release. You know, you can easily put another mag in and keep going. That type of thing in a life or death situation to keep it going, keep it flowing, you know, as far as home defense uh, is very, very important, you know. Now, as far as just shooting and having fun, this is, you know, the AP5 is probably more fun in my opinion, but for something or somebody out there that really wants something to protect their home with, you are good to go with something like this. I mean, like I said, there's the MPXs, the Copperheads, AKVs, all the above, but this is my personal preference, personal setup of something that I would go with or would, you know, am going with when it comes to that. And, you know, an updated review of my CZ Scorpion in full effect. I mean, this is, she's ready to go. She's. She's, she's beautiful. When I took her to the range, I zeroed in at 36 yards. I like the 36 yard zero. Salute to Sean Ryan on that. The 36 yard zero, look it up on YouTube. There's videos about it. Probably one of the best yard zeros out there. Gives you a very, very low spread from 36 to 100 yards out. Um, you know, I usually do that with all pistol caliber, caliber carbines and similar other guns out there. 35, 36 yards, my bad, is very, very good. And you know, I have really nothing. It's nice to be appreciated. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. This is though, my CZ Scorpion, I'm happy, I love it. Yeah, that's it. I'm out y'all, peace.